Hello again and uh, welcome to the Corner Studio here in my garage and I see it is time for Friday evening camera talk number 20 and um, I won't say we have a super full slate tonight because it has gotten late in the afternoon and I still obviously haven't shot this thing, edited it or anything else. I might get it out before midnight tonight so it can still be Friday evening camera talk. Um, this past week I've been kind of busy with art stuff and the weather's been iffy so I haven't been out in the field much so not much to talk about or report there from the field. I'll drop in some wildlife clips a little later because I do have some that I shot a couple of weeks ago. Um, I got this painting out um, this past week and I tried to do another one where I was filming the segment and could not put it together. I went sideways and I don't know if it's because I was trying to film it and talk at the same time because that one just smooth as silk, just um, almost like I was on autopilot uh, painting it. But um, I, I did get also a, uh, a video out this week where I take a uh, circulated world coin like this one and um, I put a shank on it to create a button. If you're curious about that kind of stuff, look for that video. And um, while we're talking about art videos, um, I will report kind of an odd occurrence, but um, I, did a, I did a video about this copper flashing where I take this off of a roll I cut pieces off and use them for uh, copper repose and it's a raw material for artists and the copper flashing is the most economical way that I've, I've found of doing it but something like six or seven hundred people have looked at that video and that's way more than a lot of days we'll watch the Friday evening camera talk. So I was left scratching my head about that. Um, I could take an industrial piece of copper and, and cut pieces out of it and, and prep it to use for art. And um, it's more popular than, uh, than what we're doing right here. Uh, so anyway, uh, this, uh, um, I'll uh, mention this because it's in our fashion show. Um, this fruit here uh, is, well, you guys who, mo most of you guys probably know what that is when you see it, but uh, this is a medlar fruit, and I have a couple of these uh, little juvenile trees in the yard, and um, uh, this year they actually gave off some fruit, which I was surprised because um, they haven't been out there really long enough to be producing fruit, and um, uh, just an interesting item and I, I picked a few of them. I left a couple on the trees so that the squirrels could have them and um, they're in the background so if you you might see them later and if you're curious. Um, I'm looking at my list here and I've got a segment uh, on composition and this is composing uh, photographs and video and um, I want to be careful with that. I've been working on it and it, it wasn't ready to go tonight, so I, I need to keep working on that segment and get it right. I don't plan to run it that the way that you see a lot of the photography channels, um, you know, twist, they kind of twist viewers into pretzels about this idea of composition and I'll, I'll do my own take on composition. It'll be based on artworks, not photography, and we'll have a look at that. I hope I can get the materials together by next week. So I've made a note to myself on my other uh, teleprompter sheet. I keep a couple of these going for the, the, the next week and the week after so I can put notes down and I have something at least to talk about that's semi-organized. But um, tonight we were supposed to do this fashion show on the Nikon ZF, and I tell you what, let's just... Um, get right on with that right now. And the first contestant in our Friday evening camera talk ZF fashion show is the 14 to 30 lens. Next up we have the combined entry of the 35 and the 51.8 because the lenses are identical in size and shape. Uh, we're only putting the 50 on the camera. I'm shooting the segment on the Z8 actually with the 35 1.8. So there we have the 35 and 50 combined entry. And here we have one of my own personal long-running favorites, the 24 to 120 f4. 
And I'm going to make mention here of the 24 to 70 f4, which I had that lens um, some time back and uh, traded it away. So as a zoom, it could be considered. And here we have the 135 1.8 plenal lens. And our final entry in the fashion show is the Nikon Z9 with the plenal lens. And a question's been raised as to whether this is a true entry or something that's crashed our fashion show for the Nikon ZF. All right, and we're back from the uh, fashion show uh, with the Nikon ZF and the lens assortment. Uh, so what did you guys think? I mean, if you have one that um, you want to propose as the winner of the fashion show, um, I, may let the, um, I may let the democratic process go with this, but um, I have to say that I have been using the 24 to 120 lens, which I have parked on there now, and I think it may be for me the right lens, and I would have to tell uh, people who are maybe thinking about this camera, uh, we used to have a 24 to 70 f4 in the household, and it's a respectable lens. It's a little shorter than that one, and when... Um, when we decided that both the wife and I needed to have the 24 to 120 as a utility lens, I traded uh, one, I traded the 24 to 70 off. So that's why I didn't have any more for the uh, comparison here. But uh, 24 to 70 could be a great lens for the um, for the ZF. I think though that the uh, Plena. Uh, as wonderful as this lens is, and I use this lens on this camera. Uh, when, when these two came together and I started making videos about them, I was using these two paired together almost exclusively, and the Plena gives a great result, and the ZF with the Plena is a fine enough combo, but it, it feels almost like a little too much. The Plena feels like too much on that camera body. I have to admit it. A couple of the viewers said it was, and uh, I, I may be ready just to admit it's, it's too much lens. Now, if you're shooting it on a tripod, no problem, but um, carrying it around and trying to use it for um, photos and video may be a bit too much. But um, we had the, uh, the show crasher here, the Nikon Z9 with the Plena. Those guys look like they're quite a combination, so um, just stuff to think about. Um, there's no what's in the bag segment tonight, so I can keep that moving along. Something that I ordered refuses to get here, but um, we'll talk about it when it gets here. The um, what's in the bag segment... Um, so that maybe that maybe that's not an every week thing because I don't necessarily buy something every week, but um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I want to talk about this ceremonic uh, mic because we I, we love these here. Uh, this is my mainstay. In fact, I have I have this set that I bought new. Um, this was the one that has the two transmitters um, that come with the kit. And I actually bought the second set used from uh, B&H because I like this one so much. I have another newer Ceremonic set of wireless mics. That's the uh, Pro, B2 Pro, I think. Um, and uh, I like them not as well as this one. I think I've talked about that on the channel. But it has this great clip on the back and um, the big speaker bar there. And there's a lot of features of it that... Um, just make this a wonderful uh, wireless mic, but this one started cutting out on me um, in a couple of videos last week, and you know that just uh, it it I found it disturbing because these have been so reliable. I'm still able to use that other set because I have one transmitter and one receiver still, but I've kind of quarantined this one. Um, I, I've recharged the battery, and I don't know what the problem with it might be. Um, if somebody out there is familiar with troubleshooting these guys, let me know. But um, uh, there's only a couple of buttons on here, and um, it's paired with the um, receiver. So I'm not sure what the trouble is, but it's disheartening because these are just my favorite wireless mics. And um, to have one of them kind of cutting out on me like that... Um, uh, 
you know, I think we've run to the end of it tonight, and what I'm going to do is drop in a couple of wildlife clips that I collected uh, in the previous weeks, and um, we're going to say uh, thanks for watching tonight, and uh, we hope to see you again really soon. So, till then, take care.